Hello everybody and welcome to the worst cooking show on the internet. Which ends do I even hold this from? <laughs> Hey, thanks for joining me. My name is Chef Papa Liguori, and today we're here in the kitchen to rustle up something a little bit special. When you think about spring, what kind of meal does that evoke in your mind? Besides leek and bean soup, besides chocolate Easter eggs, besides freshly picked strawberry I'm talking about sweet potato casserole. I just spat on the lens. Ooh, that's tasty. I know what you're thinking, PJ, why are you making the most arguably autumnal dish there is in spring? Well, it will all make sense soon. I've got a huge announcement coming at the end of this video. Do not skip to the end, I will know. So, let us get down to business. Today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to make the ultimate sweet potato dish. It's sweet, it's potatoey, it's gonna fill your tum just right. Ooh. Let's talk ingredients. For this sweet potato themed dish, you're gonna need the following. 50 grams of pecans, or pecans, if that's how you choose to live your life. One whole nutmeg, for that nutty sensation. Six, yes, you heard me correctly, six sweet patats, fresh from the ground, still got dirt on them. You're gonna have to wash them off. Two tablespoons of marmalade. Yeah, that treacly goop that that Paddington fucker loves so much. 50 grams of unsalted butter. Do not use salted butter. 200 grams of plain marshmallows. The marshier, the mallower. That's what my old Pep Pep used to say. And finally, half a teaspoon of cinnamon. No challenge. Now that you've gathered your ingredients, let's go ahead and whack that oven on. Beep, boop, boop, boop. Yeah, that's a nice heat. Nice and toasty. Nuts. The pecan is a, a very peculiar nut. Perfect. You're gonna wanna lightly toast your pecans in the pan until golden. Boom, baby. Add in a little bit of ground cinnamon. Oh! Half a teaspoon of this golden nectar. Just sprinkle it on in there. Delicious, smells like Christmas. <laughs> cinnamon in the air. Okay, nutmeg. Oh, it's broken. What the fuck, Meg? I don't know if I've ever... I was stronger than I thought it was gonna be. Rolling around in the palm of my hand. Do your best to grate this. Ah! Sorry, that's a... <laughs> Get a firm grip on that nut, otherwise you're gonna grate your hand. And that would not be great. <laughs> grip the nut. <sighs> Jesus, a lot of smells going on. Woo! Now we are toasting with gasoline. Absolutely beautiful. As much as it pains me to stab the sweet patats, which I do classify as my friends, these are actually six of my best friends right here, you're gonna wanna stab, poke, score them. Otherwise, when you put them in the microwave, they're gonna explode. Next, throw these bad boys in the microwave to get them nice and soft. I need a new microwave. 18th time's a charm. In you go. You sweet little potatoes. Then, set your microwave to nuclear. Whoa. They are hot, they are steamy, but most importantly, soft enough to scoop. I'm gonna scoop out the flesh and mix it with our toasted pecans. Let's get that scoop. So, with your sweet potatoes gutted, we're gonna take this mushy goodness with the toasted pecans, put them in a bowl with the rest of the ingredients, and get it well and truly mashed up. <laughs> Smells good, could just eat this now. I mean, why go through the trouble? Just a little lick is, it's not illegal. I was gonna, no, it's just, it's just. No, not again. I think a mixing spoon is only gonna get us so far. I think we're gonna need a masher. Always keep a masher in your ass. If you're wondering what kind of sound you should be aiming for, it's somewhere between wading through a swamp and getting your foot stuck in a bog. You know what I mean? I've lost many a shoe in the local bog. I should really stop going in there, but I can't help myself. It is so much fun. What do you think of this? Yeah, okay, I'm pretty pleased with that. It looks good, it sounds good, it smells excellent. Let's get this mixture into a dish, cover it in marshmallows, and get the baking procedure underway. Marshmallows. 
marshmallows have been successfully applied. So we're gonna whack this in the oven for about 25 minutes. See you on the other side. And there we go. Look at that beautiful sweet potato casserole. You can see how the marshmallow around the edges has kind of crisped up. Almost gone molten. If you touch that, you will burn your hand or your face. But I can't wait a few minutes. I think I need to dig in now. Somebody get me a spoon. Where's my sous chef? Where's my assistant? Oh, there she is. Well, what kind of time do you call this? The pie has cooled. I think it's finally time we do the taste test. Let's get a little bit of everything on there. A little bit of pecan, a little bit of marshmallow, a bit of patat. Bon appetit. Down the hatch. All right. Okay. That's not bad. I would go as far as saying that is the best sweet potato casserole I have ever made. And this is the second sweet potato casserole I have ever made. Mm. That crunch of the marshmallow with that zesty zing zang of the marmalade. Mm. That is delicious. This is the part of the cooking show where I would get all of my crew to come and taste it, but my crew is just Sophie. So Sophie, would you like a test? What do you think? Mm. She said, mmm, that could be good. That's a punch. And that my friends is how you make your very own sweet potato pie. So I've told you how it tastes, but you may be wondering how it smells. Well, I got you covered. New from Chef Papa Liguori's kitchen comes something that smells as good as it sounds. Enjoy your very own sweet potato and marshmallow scented candle, just like Mama used to make. Available now at kickthepj.com.